Welcome to uh, Linux classes. Let's move to the next question. The next question is related to LVM. So in this question, we have to create a volume group with the name of data VG and uh, we have to specify the size of the physical volume extent that is 16 MB. If you're going to create a volume group and if you're not specifying any option, what will happen? A VG will be created with physical extent size would be 4 MB. That is the default nature when you're going to create a VG without specifying any option. But here what they want us, they want us to create a volume group. The name of the volume group would be Dada VG and here the size of the physical extent that would be 16 MB. So this is the first requirement. Second is we have to create a logical volume of that volume group and the name of the logical volume that would be data copy and the size is of 50 extents. One extent size is 16 MB. So 50 extent that would be 50 into 16 somewhere around 800 MB. And it should be must form it with ext4 and mount it under data resource, data source. So this is what we have to do it. So let me move towards my VM and we'll show you how we can do this. So first of all, let me check the disk. So this is the disk I have. I'm going to create a single partition on that. And that single partition I'm going to use as a physical volume. Okay, no partition has been created. N, P, 1, 1. I've given full size to that partition. Okay, I'm going to change the ID. It is showing 83. I want it should be 80. So it is for LVM, Linux LVM. I can see that it is changed. It has been changed from 83 to 8E. W4 save and come out. If you want to see whether the partition has been created or not, you can check with this command. I can see that one partition has been created with a size of 2 GB. So our disk part has been created none now. Now the next is I have to create the volume group, physical volume. So for that the command is PV create and uh, stb1 physical volume has been created now now i'm going to create the volume group so the volume group we have to specify an option s that is my extent size p size physical extent that i have to give 16 mb and the name of my vg data vg and the disk is sdb1 my vg has been created now if i am going to give vg display you can see that this is another volume group the volume group which I had created data VG. Now here you can see the P size is 16 MB. Okay. And uh, there is another VG which was created earlier to the system. And the default behavior you can see that it's four P's showing. Okay. So that's why we have to use an option that is VG create hyphen S, small s. So first part has been done. Second is that I have to create a logical volume. And the name of the logical volume would be data copy. So I would be using LV create. And L I'm using L for if I'm using a small L, so that is for extents. If I'm using capital L, it means that the size I have to give. I can give it in MB or GB. So 50 I am giving here. So 50 means 50 extents. One extent size would be my 16 MB. And the name of my this one that was data copy and the name of my VG, data VG. LV create hyphen L, 50 I have given. Here I have to give an option hyphen N and for the name of the logical volume. The name of the logical volume is data copy and this. So this has been created now. Data copy has been created now. Now next is that I have to format the file system mkfs hyphen t ext4 and the name of my this one so data this was data vg so I'm going to format my logical volume with the ext4 so Logical volume has been created and it has been formatted as well with ext4. So if it is mentioned like vfat 
or XFS, whatever mentioned in the exam, you have to format accordingly. Now you have to mount it under data source. So first of all, I'm going to create a directory that is data source. Okay, and one more thing, BLKID to find out this UID. Okay, and uh, I can put it in this FS tab. Okay, in the FS tab, I can put the entry of my BLK ID so that the system will be rebooted. Okay, it will come up with the file system. So here I have to put it like this UID, this, and the UID which I have found it here, this one. And then we have to give it here this one ext4 and then defaults and then this one 0 and 0 so this is what we have to put it here and directory I have already get mount hyphen a you can put it it is showing that ext4 doesn't exist why I have already given default so no need to give this ext4 mount point defaults doesn't exist okay so this is my file system name where I need to mount it I have to give it this data source okay so this is my file system name which I have formatted with ext4 and this number I have got it with blk id and where I want to mount it it want I want it should be mounted under this okay and here I have to give ext4 let's see mount a if I am firing it ha it will read it will read the fs step file and if the file system is not mounted it will mount it I can see that this file system has been mounted now okay and size would be 772 MB if I am going to you know this 16 into 80 it was the size sorry 16 into 50 50 extends so you can see that it is somewhere around 800 okay so likewise the, this file system has been created okay so let me again tell you what all the steps I have done it so first of all I have created a PV physical volume and then we with the command of PV create then I have used the command let me put it this history and then I have used this command vgcreate and I have specifically defined this small s for setting the p size to 16 MB and this vg has been created and then I have created this logical volume and here I have given 50 extents okay this has been created then formatted the file system with ext4 in the exam they can give you some other file system as well and then I have just created this and uh, with the blk id i have got the uuid of the file system which i have created just now and in the fs tab i have just put the entry for this file system which i have created so that if the system will be rebooted it will come up with this file system so this is what i have done for this question so friend that's all for this lecture hope you can understand what i am trying to show you so such type of questions will come in rscs exam so thanks for watching and if you have time please join with me in the next lecture.